Hi, everybody. Hello, my sugar bears. Happy Tuesday. It is me, Leo Brown, back on here once again for today's card of the day. I know yesterday I posted, but I didn't like do a video. That was because yesterday was just Monday and I was actually really busy. So my apologies. But anywho, I wanted to come on and give you guys your card of the day today. Today's card of the day is the Four of Cups in reverse. Now, before I get into this, I want to make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying the fact that I've been doing the videos. You've been enjoying my content. Make sure you comment. I love it when you comment. I love interaction with y'all. So it's, it's actually a lot of fun. Okay, so four cups in reverse. So before I go into what the reverse meaning of this is, I'm going to go into what the upright position of this may mean. So say you come to me for a reading. And you get this in a reading. So it basically means that emotionally you're tired. You're not happy. You're not in a good space. You, you, and, I, and, and also what it is is that people around you are telling you things that though you may not want to hear it, it is true. Oftentimes when you're dealing with the cups, you're dealing with emotion. You're dealing with love. You're dealing with um, not money. Let me think. You're dealing with feelings. You're dealing with you know, empathy. You're dealing with, um, I'm trying to think of another one that deals with cups. You're dealing with water signs, actually. Like you're dealing with Scorpios, Pisces. You're dealing with, um, uh, my goodness, I know my signs. My goodness, I'm just blanking out today. Um, <laughs> uh, Scorpio, Pisces. Really? Cancer. There we go. I'm like, I know better than that. Okay. So you're dealing with th that, or you may be dealing with someone, maybe you or yourself, someone you know is dealing with this. So basically, if you look at the picture of this, I'm going to hold it up upright. So if you look at the photo, it's three women, and the one in the middle, she's getting the gossip, she's getting the tea, basically. And even though she doesn't want to hear it, she knows that it's true, and also, the Four of Cups also represents rest, too. It represents emotional, like, you're just like, okay, I, I need to just calm down. I need to recharge. So if you're getting this in reverse, what it basically means is that your emotional rest, your emotional recharge that you need to do, it hasn't come yet. It's You're getting there. It's slow. Um, and also, too, that you, you know the truth. You know, like, you're listening to your intuition. You're not ignoring what's going on around you. You're listening to your truth. You're listening to the truth and you're speaking your truth too. So it means that as well. So in reverse, it actually means that normally when you get a card in reverse, it means that things are slow or they are a no-go. And as I've said before, and I will say it again, there is no positive or negative in tarot. It just is. It's like life. It just depends on how you look at it. If you look at anything in life, as a positive and negative, like anything, because even a, a wedding could be a negative thing, like a marriage. But then if you look at it, depending on how, how you look at it and who you marry, it can be a positive. So it just depends. It depends on you on the on the subject. So in this case, if you feel like you are a bit just out of sorts, you feel like you want to rest, but something in you is not, or you feel like your intuition is at an all-time high right now, this card may have something to do with it. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed this thus far. I hope that you are out there getting your rest, people out there slowing down if you need to. And until next time, my dear sugar bears, it is me, Leo Brown, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye.